Hi, this topic deals with the remainder theorem for polynomials. But before we turn our attention to the remainder theorem, let's just look at division, division of numbers. Let's say, for example, I have to divide 9 by 4. What do I get? I get a quotient of 2 and a remainder of 1. That means, when 4 is multiplied by 2 and 1 is added to it, I get the dividend. Now one thing to notice here is that this remainder 1 is less than the divisor 4. Let's look at another example. What if I had to divide 8 by 4? In that case, I would have got the quotient as 2 but the remainder would have been 0. I can again write 8 in terms of the remainder, quotient and the divisor. So 8 was nothing but 2 times 4 plus 0 that was the remainder. Here again 0 is less than the divisor that is 4. So in this case I say that 4 is a factor of 8. So when the remainder is 0, I say that 4 is a factor of 8. And I can also say that 8 is a multiple. It is a multiple of 4. Now that we have revised our division for numbers, let's see if we can divide one polynomial by the other. So let us assume that there is a polynomial p of x that is 4x square plus 3x and I have to divide this polynomial px by qx and qx is a monomial and that is x. So when I divide px by qx, I would get 4x square plus 3x whole over x. And this is nothing but 4x square by x plus 3x by x. If we look carefully, this can be cancelled out and we would have 4x plus 3 and this is again a polynomial. Let's call it R of X. Here we see that there is no remainder. That means we can say that X here is a factor of P of X. X is a factor of P of X and P of X was 4X square plus 3X. If we look carefully at 4x square plus 3x, we observe that x is common in both the terms. That means if I can pull out x, I would have 4x plus 3. So I can write px as x times 4x plus 3. And hence x and 4x plus 3 are the factors of p of x. Or p of x is a multiple of x as we had just seen here in the case of numbers. Now let's look at another example. What if p of x was equal to x cube plus 3x square minus 1. The polynomial that we had to divide px by was given by g of x and was equal to x again. In this case, we have to divide p of x by g of x. So, p of x over g of x would be equal to x cube plus 3x square minus 1 over x. And if I do the division for separate terms, I would have x cube by x plus 3x square by x minus 1 by x. 
Now this can be written as x square plus 3x minus 1 by x. Now here if you notice this particular term is not in the form of a polynomial. So we can say that x or g of x does not completely divide p of x and there is a remainder of negative 1. So negative 1 is the remainder. Let me put this in terms of remainder quotient and the divisor. So in that case I would have p of x or x cube plus 3x square minus 1 as this would be the quotient so it would be x square plus 3x multiplied by the divisor that was g of x or x plus the remainder or plus negative 1 so this would give me p of x and you can simplify it to find out that this would actually give us p of x where negative 1 is the remainder. So like numbers I can write any polynomial p of x when divided by a non-zero g of x in the form of q of x plus r of x by g of x. Now here this particular polynomial q of x is the quotient while this r of x is the remainder. So this remainder polynomial it could either be a zero polynomial or it would have a degree which is less than the divisor polynomial. So this remainder would either be a zero polynomial or would have a degree less than the degree of g of x. Let's look at an example for this. If I had to divide 7x square plus 2x plus 1 by x here again I would get 7x square over x plus 2x over x plus 1 by x. So if I cancel x out I would have 7x plus 2 plus 1 by x. Again if you notice this is in the form of q of x where this is the quotient and this 1 is the remainder polynomial or r of x and x here was already g of x or the divisor polynomial. If we observe carefully we can see that this polynomial the remainder polynomial has a degree of 0 that is 1 into x to the power 0 hence the degree is 0 and it is less than the degree of the divisor polynomial or x whose degree was 1. So whenever I divide any polynomial by a linear polynomial that is a polynomial with degree 1 then I will get the remainder as a constant polynomial. We look at the long division method for dividing two polynomials in the next video.